Hey everybody, Angie Woods, Dog Psychology 101. Today, we're gonna to talk about vacuums, brooms, mops, blowers, all those kind of loud, busy things that dogs like to bite. So a lot of people wonder why does my dog want to bite the vacuum cleaner or the mop or the broom or the blower? Those are the big common things. That's because they're loud, noisy, and excitable. And if you have a dog who's a little bit nervous about those things, they're going to want to bite it. If they're excited about those things, they're going to want to bite it. It's all about adrenaline. You hear me talk about adrenaline a lot. Well, these things excite them. And I'm going to believe there's probably a little link in the prey drive there where they can chase this loud, moving thing. So if you want to cure this kind of problem, you want to put yourself between your dog and the thing, between the dog and the vacuum or the broom or whatnot. And then, have you been doing your work to get your dog to think you're the parent? And if you have, this works like a charm. So I have the vacuum behind me, and I'm looking at the dog like, uh, not your business, don't do that. And I say chill, and I block them, and I block them, and I block them until they stop trying to get around me. Then I might move the vacuum. Yeah. Then it's the same thing with the broom or a blower or a hose. It's all about putting yourself between them and the thing and then gaining control over it and making them stay out in the periphery. And then you can do whatever you want. If you rinse and repeat and get some good repetitions in, you can learn how to water your grass anytime you want, blow your yard anytime you want, and vacuum your house anytime you want. Nice. Not that we really want to. Right, but there's cures for this sort of thing. Give it a try, tell me what you think.